For the second section of our code, we want to solve for future values of the electric and magnetic fields across the grid at each time step. And we can do this by solving in a leapfrog fashion the two update equations that we derived earlier. Here are the two update equations. For every time step n, we want to update all the hy's and then half step time step later, all the ez's. So let's start from the beginning. Say our simulation starts at time t equals zero. First, all the hy's across the spatial grid need to be updated at time dt over two, since the hy's are being stored at all half time steps. We can efficiently do this by setting up a loop that cycles through all the hy's across the spatial grid. So for example, we might write four i equal one, two, i max minus one, since there's i max minus one number of hy's in the grid. And then here, I'll add a note here about how now we're going to update all the hy's. And then we would close that loop. Now, for this, that go, for what goes inside of this loop, the first equation here is used to update the hy's. So let's consider applying this first equation to the very first hy on the left side of our grid. So when we're going through this loop, we're going to take the first i value that it has, which is i equal to 1. How can we program this equation into a computer? The first equation here says that the value of hy, one half time step into the future, is equal to this coefficient times the previous value of hy one time step earlier. But wait a minute. Do we have the previous value of hy stored in the computer? We previously defined hy to be a 1D array so that we could save the values of hy at each index i. However, the hy's also change in time. So right now we just have i max minus 1 number of numbers in there. However, the hy's also change in time. Do we instead need to define hy to be a two-dimensional matrix? Maybe where the size would be hy i max minus 1 comma n max? Well, we could do this, but there's a potential issue with storing all of the hy's across the grid at all time steps. One issue is that the number of time steps we could run our simulation would be constrained by the amount of memory we have to store a matrix that could hold all the field components at all of those time steps. Electromagnetic simulations can routinely go on for thousands or even millions of time steps, and then we don't want the computer to run out of memory. So instead of storing all the hy's at all the time steps, let's see if we can reduce the computational requirements. Can we get away with storing the hy's for maybe only a few time steps? Or even just two time steps? What do you think? What's the least number of time steps we can get away with?